creative and cultural players and ISPs have a largely symbiotic relationship with many creative content providers investing in technological developments for improved network efficiency. It's not that streaming services uh, are just users of a large uh, uh, amount of, of, of data uh, transport, but they also work uh, together also with telco operators on uh, higher efficiencies on how to reduce uh, the use of data and uh, the use of network capacity. So uh, there is also um, uh, also an investment by platforms in, in network, network development. The cultural and creative content has fueled the growth and development of the internet since the beginning and uh, the demand for uh, high quality and high data uh, contracts is also because we have the content, the creative content that people want to see. So the demand is also driven by the content, uh, but uh, that also leads to better contracts and uh, 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 higher uh, consumer demands towards the telcos. So uh, these um, uh, uh, contracts that have a high uh, data um, uh, uh, delivery uh, is just there because the demand uh, for, for getting content is there. There. So if network fees were introduced, they would likely hamper creative content providers' ability to invest in content and network enhancement, disrupting this symbolic relationship, symbiotic relationship, sorry. And in addition, we risk decreased investments in content, which would also weaken us in international competitions. 